<laughs> what did I say? I heard fucking enough. I was just trying to... Dude, what the fire truck, honestly? Hey everybody, how's your F Zero? Yo. Y'all ready to play some games? <laughs> Doctors of oh, autism. It's going to doctors with autism. We're trying, we're trying to get doctors with autism out of the court. Doctors with autism. We're doing it's a it's a good cause. We're fighting doctors with autism. We're beating them down with our fucking fists. We're throwing up the dukes and taking them out. Why are we fighting them? You ever seen a drooling, like, soft skull autistic doctor running at you? Oh, they couldn't hear me. Hi, everybody. Here, we're, we're streaming now, we're live. I have my Twitch set up, actually. Thanks to you. I Thanks. was gonna help, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I just said fuck it, I'm gonna try and do it, and I did it. If you, if you need stuff, though, for those uh, animated images you were doing, I can give you that. Can you link me to your thing? It's on Twitter. I don't... I don't use Twitter. Is my mic too loud? How about now? Okay, whatever. We're, uh, we're playing at zero. And we're raising money because we don't got none. We're, we're raising money for autism awareness. <laughs> Did you know that autism exists? Wow. <laughs> I'm aware of it now. It's like autism <laughs> speaks, but it's autism exists. Autism yells. They don't speak, they hide in the corner and don't say anything. <laughs> they wait for you to talk to them. Don't say. As they do, they just sit, sit by and wait. Until they're did afraid ever, to approach them. Did you ever see the, the Arthur episode about Asperger's? Because all it did was teach me to be less patient about it. Because there's a little kid, I, the the moose who has a puppet becomes friends with the kid who has Asperger's, and the whole time he's just an asshole to the kid, but uh, he stays oh yeah, friends with that. him. He, uh, I don't know why. Because he, he doesn't have mean. social skills. Yeah, but he was mean. Well, yeah, he also was yeah. mean. He had uh, he had no respect for his new friend. He only cared about he's trains. Ruthless. And having Fucking juice in a juice box. Getting his apple juice in the yeah. box. Yeah. And then when he, he didn't really set a puppet, good, good he, uh, thing. he goes over in the corner, holds his head, and starts freaking out. Didn't it, it didn't really set a good example for like people with disabilities. In fact, I think it did the opposite. <laughs> it probably did. I'm sure kids watched that episode and just thought to themselves, why is he friends with them? <laughs> I mean, that's what I would have thought as a kid seeing that episode. I just... I... If you came into that episode, too, like, you didn't know out the door that he had Asperger's, you would just think he's a dick. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I thought. How'd you get this to work? Very carefully. Did you have to pack the mainframe? Maybe. This is actually a fan creation. No, it isn't. Has anyone ever done a fan-made F-Zero project? It'd be pretty easy. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think many people have tried. 
Do people even like... What, at zero? Yeah, yeah people like yeah, at zero. I don't think so. I think it's one of those things that they only know exists because of Smash Brothers. People yeah, like, people people like GX. Like people like GX a lot. You hear that, but how many You hear like that, hear yeah, that? that's the thing. You hear it. I don't think anyone really plays it, which is too bad. It's a really good game. I I played it, but I didn't get too engrossed in it because I was playing Super Mario World and then later on Super Mario All Star. And that's all I played. I can't give it a chance. Sorry, I was powering up there. Uh, oh, the donation thing is not on screen, is it? What the fuck, where'd it go? Oh my god, they oh probably god. heard you guys, like, echoing a billion times. Who did? The donation? No, the box? people watching the stream, they're... Okay, there's a donation box. Sorry, everybody, I should've been watching the chat. Can people still hear you guys? Say something. Me? What? Okay, did everybody hear that? Is it okay? Emergency. Emergency. <laughs> ah, good lord. I don't like how when I minimize flash, I just I see the Hotel Transylvania. Yeah, thanks a lot, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to upgrade it? I got some James Destin <laughs> How are you going to upgrade it? What does that mean, Corey? <laughs> Oops. I could stick some Jane Jetson in there. Yeah. I'm looking for, uh, preferably Jane Jetson with a, a dick. Jane or Judy? Any, any takers? Was Judy supposed Jane. to be old the whole time? Because she has white hair and she sounds like she's really old. No, she's from the future. He's like always anyway. gasping. <laughs> she's the, it's the future that Avery works. <laughs> yeah. Elroy is actually the oldest member of the family. Well, it explain why he's so <laughs> wise. <laughs> it's James Jetson. Ja Judy. Judy Jetson. Rockin' with Judy Jetson. Jetson. Who's Jetson? What's a Jetson? Kids probably don't even know That's who the Jetsons are. Flintstones at least are on cereal. Although, Kids probably don't care about the Jetsons. Yeah, at the same time, I don't think anybody cares about Jetsons, even people who are fans of it. The Jetsons is stupid. That's not true. John K. cares a lot about Jetsons. Who gave you $80? Someone gave me $80? What did they do that for? No, for nobody. nobody's donated. Money. No. It says it's on donate eighty. That's what I have right now, just in my PayPal. That's why I put it on it. Nice. Cause I'm not gonna expect people to give me more than what I need. I don't expect anything. I'm not doing so good. Good console. Very good console. The Jetsons. The Jetsons is old. <laughs> You're right, Corey. All I have to say about that. You're right, Corey, the Jetsons are pretty old. It's like, can you, can you not be old? Thank you. <laughs> we just watched the, the Fat Albert Halloween special and we got to learn about old people. Because Fat Albert's new friend, uh, what was his name? Debris Debris? Debris? Uh, that's not a, that's not a name. But he, uh, he hated old people. So during their Halloween session trigger tr trigger treating, trick or treating, I almost said a bad word. I'm glad I did. <laughs> uh, they they uh, they they pulled a prank on this uh, old lady who looked like a California raisin, but it turns out she was really nice. She was really nice, and she gave everyone soda pop and uh, candy, and they didn't want they didn't want to animate her, so she just kept looking around with a smile on her face. And one of them kisses her, and she just looks away. And uh, it turns out old people are actually really nice if you get to know them. They'll give you free stuff. And as they leave, they say, "You're you're cool. We're we're gonna do chores for you. We're gonna do do your lawn like good children do." So then all the kids who watch Fat Albert go, "Oh, I should do chores for old people." Do you Fat remember Albert that episode did. of uh, 
of a se secret that episode of Secret Squirrel. Where he did the where... toys for the old lady, yeah. It was a classic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, episode of Secret Squirrel. He wanted to fuck Secret Squirrel. He wanted her to kiss him. He didn't get fucked, Cory. One, she wanted him to fuck her, or kiss her, or something, something to that degree. I don't think in a cartoon, Cory, they explicitly said, I want to fuck. No, but they hinted that they wanted to kiss, at least. Kissing was a thing, I remember that. Well, kissing's okay, and same with hand-holding, hugging. Groping is now fine. Well, he didn't that's grope, allowed. did he? No, that's allowed now. Oh, groping's okay? Yeah. I guess, I mean, they do it in Steven Universe, I guess it's okay. Yeah, they've, they've evolved. Cartoon Network has grown some... some, uh, girl pants. Grow girl pants. Girl pants. Shut up, girl pants. Oh, <laughs> that's Cramp Twins. Wow, Cory. <laughs> Keep that fucking show. Why? No, it wasn't. It's not Top Cat. It was Secret Squirrel. There was this bee chick who's like, Squirrel, I want you to be with me. And he, he fooled her. He's like, oh, I'm totally into you. And then he was going to kiss her, but then he like tricked her. And then taking her clothes off. Look it up. And then he said, haha, look it up. I didn't even want you to do that. Why'd you do that? Look it up. Look up the bee queen. It's real. I remember that episode. I remember that because the bee lady. And he says, oh, women. behave. Ha ha ha. He says, do I make you groovy, baby? Randy, do I make you Randy? It's me, Randy Squirrel. Make you horny, baby? Randy, do I make you Randy? Do I make you Squirrel, horny? baby? Do I make you a horny Randy, baby? Do I make you groovy Randy, baby? Are you a Randy baby? A little baby named Randy. Little baby Randy. Cory, you're making this up. Secret Squirrel didn't seduce what? a baby named Randy. <laughs> I don't even know how fucking, uh... It's Austin Powers. Powers. Yeah, that wasn't a show, that was a movie. <laughs> Austin Powers, show. Show. You know what, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do that. I am too. I am too, actually, yeah. Uh, because it had a lot of potential to be a fucking... Oh, like, that was so close. Show. Instead of just because when Goldmember came out, it, that was like Goldmember was like the best, and then I guess it just ended. But, so oh, you're right. Enough. The the donation thing has the wrong font. What's going on? Is Twitch alert acting up? There we go. Oh, thank you whoever donated. I didn't even see it. Hi, you've been hacked. Thank you whoever do donated. I, Who uh, donated? I don't know. I didn't see it or hear it. You're gonna have to keep. You're gonna have to keep a, an open mind. Sorry, you know, what? I'm wondering if Twitch it. alerts is broken because I didn't hear it. Cartoon mm -hmm. Network is in the Square Enix of TV. That is such a, a weird thing. Was that even? Why do you say that? What does that mean? Goldmember bombed it, but Goldmember was the best one. I don't understand that. Like. The first one was is okay, the second one was dumb, and the third one was like, the that's, best. That's what I thought, I thought the, the first one. Everyone always says the second one's the best one, and I never understood that. It was, that was the worst. Yeah, there's nothing to it. It was the third one that was really funny, because it was all those like fucking like... Just really well done. It was more like... I don't know, it just... The jokes hit more. The first one was just kind of setting the mood. I don't really you just like it because he eats his skin. No, I hated that. It was fucking disgusting. That was your favorite part. I was like, here, take Did this Did you one. like the scene in Kubo where he eats his own skin? No. Because they say memories are a powerful thing. He, he, uh, he rips his skin off and starts eating it because then he has a memory of when he used that to have skin. Happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're a liar. That never happened. Whoa, Whoa! Thank you, Tristan, for ten dollars. Now I'm seeing the donations. Thank you, Tristan Taylor. Thank you, Tristan. You're the worst at Yu-Gi-Oh. Now I'm swimming in dollar bills. Anybody, anybody wants to uh, duel on uh, Eternal Duel of Soul? I'll crack down on it. That regular show towards the end kind of 
wore out its welcome. I don't know what they did with it. Oh, they, by they the end of it, it was just kind of like... They, they focused on like dating and everything. And yeah, it was just kind of like... I'm, yeah. I guess this new thing that shows are doing is it's like everything has to be like, melodramatic or have this like fucking like extra story. It can't just be like some... And yeah, I get that's with like cartoons and stuff, but it's like sometimes, it's you know... Because, it's because the big audience is teens now. It's true. Exactly. It's just sometimes you don't need that. Sometimes you can just make sometimes a show with one point. Sometimes you just need an old man eating his dead skin. Who's with me? It's gross. Stop bringing that up. What'd you think of Kubo? Or... Think of what? What'd you think of Kubo? Kubo? Yeah. It was fucking good, but... Uh... You know, it just it was pretty. I said this before. <laughs> Did you think it was... He just wants to, to get it on record. Yeah. Thank you, Ding Dong, I hate you for one dollar. Okay. Well, That's thank you right for idea. the money, I don't care. This is silence. This is, uh, the last level in the video game. Does anybody do, do uh, who are the people who were, uh, doing the best gamers thing? What thing? Like, what are you talking about? Oh, that was poop on your toothpaste or whatever. Very show up over here. Uh, I think he has, but he doesn't need to. Record yeah, regular show kind of went to the left field, and with like even with like its relationships, it kind of it tried to balance too many like really stupid things. It should have just been two guys at a fucking golf course. Sure, you could throw in relationship things. You could, guys at a golf course. Two stoners that work at a golf course. They, they don't work at a golf course, Corey. Where do they work? Aren't they like park managers or something? Yeah, it's just a. I thought they worked at a fucking golf course. No, Corey. Well, maybe they updated it. You know, that, I guess that could be. Maybe the new ones they do. I haven't watched it in like five years. I'm surprised to know it's still going. Because you don't hear anybody talking about it. I remember there was a lot of shots of them in fucking golf carts. So I assume that it was a golf course. Well, yeah, they had a golf cart. I don't know if it was a golf course. Park manager, what kind of dumb job is that? That's not a job. Whoa. It's fucking hot outside, dude. It should be here. Oh, you're going to be here. What am I talking about? Isn't that yeah, the 14th. Wow. Yeah, but yeah, but it'll probably be cooler. Yeah, time. it will be. Oh, fuck. Well, that guy came out of nowhere. Are you ready to play Revolution 60? No, not really. You know, Chris is going to make those. I'm surprised it came out. I didn't think it ever was going to be. Whoops. I blew up. I thought oh. they worked at a golf course. I'm sorry. I, I assume that's where they worked because there was like golf carts and shit. I didn't understand that it was a park thing. Because they never really did their job. They were just kind of like, hey, do your job. The gumball would. And they'd just be like, dude, do you want to go to like. Gumball man. Do you want to go to like the fucking cafe? <laughs> and they would leave. <laughs> I, don't I don't remember that episode, Corey. <laughs> it's not a specific. I was setting up an example where they would go see uh, Margaret or whatever her name is at the. I forget what it is. It's like yeah, a, I'm a giant monster and I'm from the '80s. No, they they would do something small and then becomes a, a big scale thing. Like uh, they play rock paper scissors and the world ends because they keep tying. Or uh, yeah, but they never did their job. Every time the they were supposed to yeah, do their job, the they wouldn't do it. Uh, here, let's make up a concept. Uh, they fight over the the best kind of knot and then uh the knot demon shows up because they did so many knots they pull the knot through the universe and they have to find mm -hmm. they have to uh undo all the knots they tied to figure out which is the best knot yeah thank you that's my episode that's... of regular show also uh redbird shows up and says me horny but we cannot do sex what about uh, uh what's your name CJ or whatever, JC. 
Is that the stupid Cloudy J. Yeah, I mm -hmm. I have not followed it, so I don't even remember the She comes in, she's like, no, Mordecai, we must date. He's like, but I have to work. He's like, that's not important. We must have sex. And they go on a date. Save child and me. We must make rain, baby. Doesn't really matter, because the show's, like, over, so who cares? Yeah, I don't think anybody cares about it. It's probably gonna not get renewed, like, in the next year. Thank you, Digging with Spoons. Is he- did he donate? No, he oh. said he likes the recent pictures. I finished a picture and I'm giving it to Chad, he's gonna upload it. Cause the Twitch thing has been acting up. They decided to rebrand themselves, they're not Twitch alerts anymore. And all that does is fuck over anyone who's using URLs, like on their stream. I don't know why they decided to do that. doing so good. I feel like I've recently learned um, why people enjoy a Steven Universe. Like, I feel like I didn't understand it, and I was like, why are people excited about this dumb fat kid? It was annoying. And now I get it. Like, I feel like I understand. Oops. Why is it? But Tell me the reason for it. <laughs> because it can explore, like, genders and all this stuff, because you can fuse with, like, girls and boys and shit and become like different beings. Girls and boys bringing toys. So characters can be like explore different genders and Thank it's like you, that kind Lieutenant of stuff. Goff for five dollars. Because he, you know, he has didn't really understand that. At first I was just kind of like, wait, why do people like this? And then I've been hearing more about it and now I'm like, oh, okay, well. There's that. <laughs> Alien explained the appeal. I, I mean, that's about it. Oh. For, and the characters, me, I mean, and the characters deal with like stuff where, you know, like one might be queer, one might be in like another fucking type of being or something. E. And it deals with like emotional turmoil and other stupid shit. Why is it stupid, Corey? Have you never cried a tear? I have, but... Uh... I watch cartoons to laugh. I watch them to cry. <laughs> Every time Steven Universe is on TV, I cry. <laughs> Are you just bringing up Steven Universe because you know you always upset people when you do? No, I legitimately just felt like have been looking into it legitimately like over these last few days I've been trying to figure out why do people like this show and I looked into it and I was like oh this is definitely not a show I could get behind <laughs> people were telling me oh it's like Dragon Ball Z you know and I'm like wait no don't even say that because I know you're fucking lying no, it's just they're like no it is the fusion concept from it, that's it. yeah so I, I looked more into it I, I pulled the veil up and now I know the this isn't. This is. I'm not insulting it. It's just not a show that I would like. I don't care if people like it. What do you think, uh, watchers? Would you, uh, how how great uh, do you think? Oh, Steven I lost this race. For, uh, on a scale of uh, nine. To on ten. scale one to fuckable, what do you think of this small child? It's good, it's good punctuation. <laughs> It's okay. I he doesn't age physically. He can be pure. Oh yeah, and there's small, there's fat fighting Jewish boy forever. Why does everybody in the show have a frog nose? They got like frog noses. They got frog. Noses. I you know I like. I, I like the Steven Universe art, but I don't like Steven's pushed up frog nose. No, I don't agree. I don't like that one, but... They've been better about their art lately. If you go back and look at the first season, it's hideous. Whoa, yeah. thank you. Uh, oh my god, Rapture for $50. Holy guacamole. Thank you, Rapture. But I do like the show's like art. I think they, they have interesting characters, but, you know. 
They at least did something with it, because everyone I remember when it first aired, they are like, Oh, th they wanted to stylize the show, that's why it doesn't look like the pilot, but no, it was because they probably had to make it look cheaper, so they just kind of slapped something together. But they've at least stylized mm -hmm. it now, like they took it somewhere. The first yeah. season's really ugly to look at. Ed and Eddie was Ed and Ed, 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 oh God, I can't. Ed, Ed and Eddie was good, pretty much because it had one concept, and the people who deserved what they had coming got what they had coming because you you were like, oh well, you, you know. So it, it's like you never really, like even Ed, which you know they're all Ed, but even Eddie, who's like you know when he's an asshole he gets his pendants, but when he's like tries to be helpful he. You know, he gets rewarded, and it, it was never like I hated Eddie, because you like Eddie, because you know Eddie. You just know the kind of person he is, but you also know that he's not malicious. He just. He's a scammer. He wants fucking jawbreakers, that's really all he cares about. He wants to impress his he little wants his older brother. To draw him getting some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and then Eddie had this charm to it that not many cartoons could reach when it comes to, like, kids in a cul de sac. I don't. I honestly don't think any right, cartoon could probably reach that. Uh, some charm. Kids Next Door definitely didn't have a. I felt like some, Kids Next Door was. Everyone liked Kids Next Door. For me, it was kind of like. I never liked. Yeah, it. I guess I never the, understood it. I hated it as a kid. The idea of like root beer coming from like a Western thing, or like where do like you know taking a little idea and making a big concept out of it. That's interesting. Yeah, like the but, first time you see it, but then it's every single episode. But the characters are stupid. Like they're they're the fat kid is pointless. The main one is probably the only one that gets any focus on. The little guy with blonde hair, I forget his name. Number four or something. He's angry at everybody. The like weird like Japanese girl and the the black chick they. They didn't have anything. Like, they were really boring personalities. Did you ever play this game, Corey? Like I told you, I played it for a little bit. I thought it was cool looking, but no, I didn't the first stick around. One, the first one, not, not the GameCube one. No, I only played this one. Oh wait, you never played the GameCube one? You only played this one? No, I only played the Super Nintendo oh, one. Oh, well, Jesus. You need to play the GameCube one, because that, that's the best one. It is, you're right about the thing that it's always a series people bring up, but they never have really touched them. But the, mm -hmm. the GameCube one is Everyone, amazing. Like, it's probably one of the best racing games. I watched someone speedrun it, which is insane. Thank you, Doug Tenable, like... for $5. Oh, speedruns for, the, oh, speed for the game are amazing, because they go off the track and everything. They go crazy with it. Yeah, it was pretty. It's pretty sick. But as far as like the game goes, no, I never. It was just kind of game you played, and it really. I also like your donation thing. It's not so flashy as it used to be. What do you mean? It's not flashing. Even seizures. What was flashy about it before? Oh fuck! What do you mean it was flashy? It used to flash whenever you got donations. Like it would. It? Mm-hmm. Doesn't do it anymore. The donation kind of flashes. Not as no, it much. Doesn't. But it, no, it still it's, does it. It's partial. It used to be like more like... I turned it down a little bit. Like it used to do it for a full second, I think. And now it does it for, I think, 10 frames. People say Camp Laszlo was a good show. And to a degree, I could probably say something was good about it because I liked everybody else that wasn't Laszlo. I thought Laszlo was a terrible, boring Mary Sue character that sucked. And But I liked, you know, I liked the platypus and I liked the the rhinoceros and the guy that never said anything and the, and the camp counselors. I liked them. But, dude, when your main character is a boring Mary Sue, then your fucking show is doomed. Sorry. I wanted to like it just because it was the guy who did a uh, Rocco working on it. Whoa! Holy oh. cow! Thank you, Brackens, for twenty-five dollars. Thank you, Brackens. Um, 
I think Ronco, Ronco, Ronco. I think <laughs> Ronco. Ronco fucking stomped Laszlo. His older, his older cousin Ronco. He fucking stomped him. Julian, what do you think of Ronco? Ronco was pretty good. Uh, Ronco and Roscoe. <laughs> Roscoe's modern boy. I love modern boy. What is the donation goal this time? Too, Dingle too bangle. Much, too much that I don't expect anyone to actually do it. Oh, I think no, no, what's the reason there. for it? Oh, because uh, we're out of gosh darn money because there was... Basically what happened is... It was a uh, few things, actually. Ding Dong was, got something for was, his game, right? We registered the company, and I thought that we were going to be fine with money, but it turns out two things happened. One, web hosting fees came in late. Two, uh, yeah. we were using a website to order food, and they screwed up something, and we were supposed to like have credit on food and everything, and they ended up not even charging me with any of it, even though they were supposed to, because they updated the website layout. So fuck mm. us over on that, too. So there's so, a yeah. There's a big, big, big money hole that we have. And whenever anything goes wrong, so basically they registered they registered stuff and took money before they were really oh, thought fine. they would get like I guess you guys probably thought it would be at the end of the month and we realized it would. Well, I got a, I got an email about the web hosting saying like, oh, I, you you've uh, you were automatically charged this month for it, and that was last month. And this month now. Oh. This just sounds like my fucking phone bills. I swear I was always losing money because they was taking money out of my account. Dude, my gym partner is a monkey was not wow. good. Sorry. <laughs> Why are we talking about my gym partner is a monkey? Gym partner is a monkey was not is a good last name. I, I like the opening where he's talking because he just says, Man, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, is my name. He just talks really fast, like it's not singing or anything. He's in a monotone voice just quickly explaining the plot. My gym partner is a monkey! My gym partner is a monkey! Ain't that funny? Look, we got Tom Kenny, new SpongeBob, everybody, right here. Move over, SpongeBob. Oh, he didn't move over. What kind of shows were popular during that era? Like, My Life, My Gym Partner's a Monkey. My Life, Me. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Be thankful. What is My Life, Me? That, that was the Canadian... It's a, it's a Doritos vehicle. No, no, oh. that, that was a... Uh... That's something else. My Life Me was the Canadian anime where the girl wants to be a manga oh, artist. Oh, shit, you're right. Child, you're was Chowder on Cartoon uh, Network? I thought you're thinking of Gener was Nickelodeon. Generation Z, where they're, ch they're trapped in a Doritos commercial for every episode. No, no. Hi, hi, Puffy Ami Yumi wasn't on during that. That was back on, like, Nicktoons, dude. Oh, right? That's hi, Cartoon Puffy Network, is... and that was a little bit before My Gym Partner, my gym partner was uh, funny. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. That was during like the Nicktoons era, though. That was when like Nicktoons had its own channel. People watched like Nicktoons always had its own channel for a long time. Yeah, but it had like its own channel, and people would watch it. It was, dude. That was a long, dude. I think it was like two thousand fucking like seven. It was like two thousand. Uh, it was older than. Yeah. Like, I, I, I puppy on. It was like two thousand three. Two thousand four oh, yeah. yeah, was when Cartoon thing. Network started shitting on itself. In two thousand five. No, 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 no. Two thousand seven was Naruto. Or six. The partner was a monkey. It was two thousand five, I think. It was on Cartoon Network. Like, I understand. I don't know what Someone's happened to, to Gen Z. I was telling Zach a while back, though, when they did the stupid Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true, okay. I was telling yeah, the, Zach I forgot that the Teen Titans theme was done by Hi Hi Puffy Yumi Yumi. Gen... I, people liked Hi Hi Puffy Yumi Yumi. I really only liked the art. I didn't really care for the show. I didn't like anything about it. I thought it was hideous. I like the weird... The, the weird art style, weird. I think, in theory, could have worked with the way that they ended up animating and everything. They didn't. They yeah. animated it like shit. I just like the art, really. I, I would say I like the show. designs of the two main characters. Yeah. I expected more of it. I was going to say, though, with Gen Z, I don't know if they've done anything with it. Way back, we saw 
they, after like a year of silence, they upload a video, which was just the first uh, episode trailer again, but they redubbed it into a Doritos ad, which is really weird. Oh, yeah. And I was telling Zach uh, that what adventures we, was good. we should just uh, keep uploading videos, like make a new channel on YouTube entitled Gen Z and pretend to be their channel, and just keep uploading the trailer and dubbing it into different commercials for different products, and that could be the show. But every, at the end of every video, one of them starts to realize that they're trapped in a commercial and it's an ongoing cycle, and that's what the show would be about. I think that's more interesting than whatever garbage they were trying to do with it. That'd be brilliant. It's like this I, I underlining also like, like the, theory that the Doritos they're using they transgender to promote fucking Doritos. I like that the the scene they use at, during the Doritos ad. That was the only Dude, time they, they cut it. Dude, that cat scratch was annoying. They they cut it because it's the part where the the guy makes her cry. And Doritos yeah. ad. I figured they're gonna leave that in because he says, "Oh no, we're out of Doritos." And I thought she was gonna start crying. But they made sure to cut that out because that would have... I guess that doesn't read too well that you use the scene where she's crying because they're insulting her for being transgender. Uh, applying that to yeah. a Doritos ad is kind of in poor taste. I like you know, Billy and Mandy taste. Doritos. and Evil Con Carne. Mmm, these Doritos are delicious. I don't even like Doritos. Wow. I don't like Doritos. I fucked myself up. I'm not a fan. Do you like they're okay. They're, they're okay. I mean, we're only human. Not be ashamed of. What does that mean? The life and times of Juniper Lee was it was a show. It's true. They were hoping that was gonna do something for them. They completely killed it off. Oh. The creators of Cat of Earthworm Jim did fucking Cat Scratch. Not the creators. Why do people say that? It was Doug Tenaple did the. He had a comic called Gear. The Cat Scratch was based off of it, except very loosely. It has almost nothing to do with it. Um, I thought Cat Scratch was annoying. It was just like that concept, like this. You get that with that, Eddie? Like, who cares? Because you just want to drop point about it and have a minute, Corey. I actually think the only thing worth drawing porn of is the uh, fucking that the blue-haired canker sister. What's her name? Canker. Uh, is that? Is that that's Do you Lee, know her name? Right? What's the blue-haired one? Because I think Lee is the the blonde one. Yeah. Is it? It's not Marie. Is it? Is it Marie? I think Mar I thought Marie was the redhead. No. Oh, it is. It is. It's not Naz. That's the blonde-haired one. It's Marie. Yeah, Mar I think Marie is the only one that I've seen that has like potential in a different style. It never made sense to me that there's supposed to be like three ugly sisters, but then only one of them, or two of them, I guess. I because one, one's Wilma with hair covering your face. Yeah, you could make the redhead work, but I always just thought Marie was the better one. Well, yeah, because there's nothing really... I guess her voice is supposed to be the thing that's off-putting. She also has, like, uh... Eights. Yeah, her voice is off-putting and her kind of personality is, like, fucking rapey. I mean, I guess you're into that. <laughs> you probably are. You want to draw her. I don't want to draw getting raped. Is that what you meant by that? No. She, I meant she's, she's the only vulnerable? one that I could that see myself ever say? drawing porn of. No, she's the only one I could see myself ever drawing porn of because people have drawn really good porn of her. The redhead... Uh, the blonde? I mean, she's even had good porn of her. But she, she is like those, those fucking overbites. They're little... You mean the beaver teeth. teeth, and her voice is fucking annoying. <laughs> May is the bucktooth retard. Uh, excuse me. Dismantled bucktooth sopsicle. I, I, I have the name Zomix. <sighs> Getting bumped off the course is not fun. The powder mm -hmm. milk scene? Yeah, that was weird. 
Someone said, who's the hottest Proud Family character? None of them. <laughs> uh, the, the, mom? the Spanish guy. Because he looks like the Joker. Here, I'll answer this appropriately. I think the mom... Grenade! Grenade! With a Proud Family, we make you squeeze. <laughs> they don't say that, Corey. Is that, the, is that the updated opening? Make your axe V! You're not gonna drop Plank. Plank was stupid. There's too many funny pictures of. What's his name? Charl Charlson? Charlton? Charl Charlson? What's his name? Carl? Did you just break your chair? You're fucking. I hope that wasn't your new cop. Carlson fucking... There's too many memes with the, the plank of wood. It's not worth it. Fuck! Oh my god, I lost the race. I cannot save this now. Holy shit. Failure. Maybe I can save it after three laps. That was really bad. They'll push your buttons, they'll make you want to hug them. That doesn't rhyme! Right. Carl you that. God, I, I don't like the idea of that either. What does that mean? They're gonna push your buttons <laughs> and make you want to hug them. Yeah, Carlton from to make Freshman. Them stop? I'm tired of seeing Carlton on fucking Plank Space. I'm tired of seeing Snoop Dogg on Plank Space. I'm tired of seeing the Proud family. Who's with me? Who? Let me tell you, they got nothing to be proud of. What about her, like, bol the bully people, where they were just, like, these, like, blue... Yeah, they're supposed to be ashy. Blue people. They always say, ooh, you ashy, but they're blue. I guess being ashy means you're blue in that universe. They look like Frankenstein monsters. Because they're all blue and scary looking. Yeah, you're just saying that because their teeth stick out. Their feet stick out? I mean, her, her, her... Yeah, their feet stick out. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? No teeth. no teeth. What does that mean, Corey? They have, They're they have under stick out. I don't that's know. I thought that's what you said. One of them has. I remember. I remember it being under 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 No, I meant Carlton. Their teeth are just always sticking out. Is the thing. Dude, the Sonic X. No, I mean, Sonic X was a bad show. Sonic X. Please. Lots of porn potential, but not a good show. What do you mean porn potential? The kid? The little kid? Like the little... Ew, no. Thorndike suck. He looked like fucking Sora. It was so, so off-putting. I was like, uh, the whole time I was thinking, where is this fucking giant 10 feet clown, clown shoes? <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. He was 10 feet. If you did, if you did, a, if you did an animated 10 inch story, is that how you draw him with 10 feet? Clown feet? I didn't want to feet. draw Sora from Sonic X. I was like, like, I'm, I'm good. What was actually his name in the cartoon? Was it Chris? Thorndike. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. I forgot about that. If you don't hit that jump fast enough, you die. Oops. It's Chris Thorndike. His parents were fucking movie stars, and his dad was Thorndike. a detective. That's not a real name. It is. His name was Thorndike. I swear to gosh. Yeah, right, cool. Drew, look it up. Chris Thorndike. Sonic had to pull the phone out of his dike. Chris Thorndick. He pulled Sonic out of the pool and said, Now you have to have your way with me, Sonic. See, Corey, there is potential for porn. Think about it. Not with Chris Thorndike. What the fuck? The wild wow. thornberries? Wild thornberries is hard to watch. I did not like Eliza's fucking oh, disgusting Oh, you're right. Face. If you hold down, not down, you hold up, don't you? Well, I screwed up the jump anyways. Also, thank you whoever's yelling Eliza at had, I'm going to really read the chat while I'm playing a racing game. Eliza had a gross face. It was gross. Her overbite, her face. Ew. 
this ill, disgust, ill, dude. Gross. But that is right, I forgot that you use up and down the steering in this game. I didn't think this one had it, because X, you have to use it a lot. So, oopsies. Ew, dude. Also, Gross. Eliza Thornberry is probably one of the worst. Klasky, whatever, <laughs> they, they have a... They have a running thing with their main characters that they're always really horrible people, even if they don't intend them to be. She's one of them. She's probably the worst. She's like, pretty her, awful. Her, old, her older sister, you're supposed to be like, ooh, she's a, she's a stick in the mud. She's no fun. But she's always pretty rational, from what I remember, and she had good reason to be upset with her little sister. Because she, she says, Mom, Dad, I want to go in the rainforest and get fucking murdered. And they say, no, Eliza, don't. You can't do that. And she yeah, her anyways. sister's like... Their sister's like, oh, you don't do that. And, and she, like, she ends up like saving her half the time too. Like she'll show up to try to look for her because she's being a retard, running out into the wilderness. <laughs> but I found a rhino. I can talk to it. He says he wants to kill me. <laughs> Rugrats go wild. I never saw that. Did you see Rugrats go to Paris? Uh, I guess the art style for Rugrats isn't, like, that awful. And even All Real Monsters, I, I think it worked for that show because they were I fucking like, monsters. I like how some of that looks. I heard somebody say, like, they're objectionably... Not objection. Objectively. They're objectively hideous. Like, it's intentional that they're but they're mon gross, monsters. But they're monsters. I don't think so. I I like their design, actually. I, I'm not even talking about that show. I'm just talking in general with their shows. They're saying, like, oh, they want to make their shows ugly. But no, it's just, like, that's their style. They're not thinking in their minds, okay, does this look fucking revolting? Okay, good. <laughs> Put it out there. Because I'm sure that's what so they're thinking a... of, as told by Ginger, was, oh, let's make them look hideous. They just happen to look hideous because they didn't know what they were doing, and their style doesn't lend itself to that. The pilot for Rugrats is scary. Yeah, it is, because of how they animate them. They move around like babies. It's a little Tommy's weird. arms twitch around. I hate it. The grandpa's head is like fucking floating like a snake on his shoulders. That's old people, Corey. You're gonna be that one day. It's really, really stink. Out here comes the dinosaur. Who said Amanda Anaconda? It's Angela Anaconda. Anaconda. <laughs> that's probably because you're thinking of the Amanda show. Yeah, that's true. Amanda Anaconda. Uh, I think I think Anna Anna Angela Anaconda Angela is probably Anaconda. one of the worst shows I've ever fucking seen. Uh, I would I would easily say it's up there with uh, um Bud Ugly Martians as being a really stupid and pointless I show. I remember when it was like a one minute thing on Kablam one time. I thought it was a little funny as an idea that she's just having a fantasy about murdering her classmate. I didn't know it was going to become a show though, and then at that point it was fucking horrible to sit through. <laughs> also, it was the opening for the Digimon movie for whatever reason. Kablam. Did I used to watch Yeah, she Kablam. turns it. If you go to the Digimon wiki, there's an article on Angela Mon. It's, a, it's a canon <laughs> to the universe now. <laughs> Here we go, that's the Angela song. The Angela song. Fucking do we do we do wop wop. It's fucking Angela. Name's not Angela. <laughs> yes it is. It's Angela Slop. Bro, that's gross. Are you gonna draw Angela Anaconda porn now? <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> I think I'd probably be the first person <laughs> that wasn't doing it, like, ironically ugly and disgusting. I mean, that's how she looks. <laughs> Nobody would know who you're drawing if you don't do that with her. No, I'm not gonna draw Angela Anaconda porn. Never. I'm not gonna do it. I would never. It's just disgusting. I'll draw a fucking uh, baby diaper fur stuff before I do Angela Anaconda. Hop to it then. What would you do, Angela Anaconda? Anaconda diaper fur. <laughs> the fucking universe would explode. 
no balls? What would I be accomplishing doing that? I'd have to look at that. Why does everyone keep saying Andaconda? I don't know. Name a price? Uh, one thousand five hundred dollars. I'll do a really bad, awful sketch of Angelina Anaconda. For just a color version, is, uh, triple that. How bad. much are bells in Animal Crossing worth in real life? Just how much is uh, a Mario coin worth in the real world? These are my new videos. What do you think? Pretty interesting stuff, right? <laughs> How much is Moon from Kingdom Hearts worth? Considering it's like giant balls. And like fill up the room. There you go. A new picture to whet your appetite with. Well everybody everybody is probably rich because also the giant balls that suck into you. You only have to get near them, so there's probably people picking them up in their sleep by accident. What do you think of that, Julian? Oh, I'm playing a racing game, so I can't see it. Julian, what is it? It's very funny, Corey. You did a really good comment. What is it? <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I, I looked over it. and I see Minnie Mouse, and it looks like it's the Control Delete comic. Is that what it is, Corey? No, it's not even close to that. Julian, what is it? Oh wait, I thought that yeah, I thought this was a lost comic. No, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I, I don't know what this is. A formatted four thing. <laughs> Are we just so used to seeing that and everything now? <laughs> uh, no, it's like a. It's a fetish. Uh, like, it's three fetishes rolled up into one. Are you sure it's, it's not really meant to weird. be a lost comic? No, it's four uh, fetishes. No, it's it's because it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Well, There's no, the it's no comment. comment. Doesn't, like, this, this makes sense in a degree where it's like progression, but it makes no sense as to what it is supposed to be. Like, you would never see that, that coming. Uh, it's that, uh, oh, it wasn't a woman the whole time. Yeah, it's like, it what? a baby. A dead baby. Why, did, why wasn't the tiger underneath the costume to begin with? Why did we have to have that little extra surprise at the end? Why would I care? Because they get boners from a like, prosthetic getting stretched out. I don't see... See, that's what I don't... You don't want it. I think that stuff is... is... is, uh, strange? When the characters' faces, like, when they're wearing, like, masks that... Like, that's clearly a costume. It's not real. So it's, like, not really its eyes that are looking. It's just kind of like... It's like if you were being fucked and wearing a mask. It's just kind of strange. Corey, other people have different tastes. I'm aware. But me, personally, I, I don't... That's another thing I would put into the category of silly looking. Therefore, I'm not gonna draw it. What would you draw? A lot. Actually, I've got a ton of stuff. What's uh, what's the most disgusting thing that you would draw? What's the most disgusting thing you can think of? Uh, Angela and Anaconda, probably. Yeah, that's. I I think that's drawing the line. I don't think I'd ever draw. <laughs> well, there you go. So you're. Uh, you're I think Angela. And I, I think I would draw. Like diaper form before I do fucking Angela Anaconda. What about her wearing a diaper? No, that would never. I would when never. It's covering her mind. face. You don't have to pay me. You don't have to actually draw her face. You'd have to pay me for that. Did you ever see there was a dollar bills? There was a drawing of a uh, Tommy Pickles with Angelica, and Chucky is a uh, holding her down, and Tommy's strangling her. And he, uh, yeah. he, his arm is bending backwards as he's doing it because it's drawn so poorly. But, uh, That's not true. I said I would draw a fucking Patty Manny. She's just in a giant list of characters I need to draw. She's like number 1,240. Well, she should be number one, so, shouldn't yeah. she? <laughs> no, there's tons of other better characters. It says you. 
But she, she's in the potential. Right? Just draw, just draw your porns. What your solution is, draw all the normal porn that you would normally do, but just draw, like, Patty Mayonnaise masturbating in the background. <sighs> that, yeah, and then but people would be like, why is she masturbating all the pictures? And I'd be like, I don't know. She's a horny girl. You don't have to know. It's, it's, art. it's art, Cor. She's spreading her mayonnaise. She's in, she's in the list, though. Disgusting so. name. I'll get Any around names. to her in, like, the next two years or so. Two years? Well, right if you demand me to draw it, I'm not gonna do it. I want you to draw it, Cory. I want to draw stuff that I want to draw, not because people say I should. That's uh, that's very selfish of you, isn't it, Corey? You should be giving so. your uh, you should be lending your talents to people who are needy. <laughs> Someone said that made me gag. Spreading mayonnaise. Well, I didn't I didn't name her Patty Mayonnaise. This name's Doug. She visits her mom's grave, and it's just a tombstone and giant text that says mayonnaise on it. Patty would have a cough. This is, this is bad. Do you think her pubes are all curled up? Like a glob of mustard? She's what a, her hair looks she, like. Her hair just looks like a glob of mustard. I think she might probably be a little... She may have a little bit, but she probably be more clean. I didn't mean to hill. Oh. I didn't dude, mean to turn there. Thank you. You gotta. Dude, you, freaking... you gotta hold back, and I accidentally hit right while holding back, so I fell off. I dude, what the it. heck? You freaking stink, dude. What the heck? Not very nice. <laughs> I always liked how I have zero control. I like that LNR, you're not drifting, it's just being on me. If you want to just slide your car to left or right. I like the idea of that. So you can make tight turns. What was a Cartoon Network show that just like came and went and nobody even heard about it and it was already gone before Robotomy. it started? Like it didn't get any wind? Robotomy? What was that? That was a, a robot school and they aired like three episodes and canceled it and took it off their website and it's like it never even existed. That's nuts, dude. Uh, they were pretty... they wanted to get rid of Symbionic Titan pretty quick. Oh yeah, that's... yeah. I guess because it had like what, like fucking like lap dances and big asses? Probably also... I don't think they wanted that. They wanted to do another season of it. I'm sure Cartoon Network wasn't thrilled about that. Yeah, Symbiotic Titan was... Uh, when that episode came out, it's like, how did, how did they get away with this? <laughs> she's out was not Cartoon Network. That was like fucking... Oh my god, some remember she's out? And how everyone was saying, like, oh, you gotta watch it, it's actually pretty good. And then everybody stopped talking that about it. Like it had no last She's out is terrible, dude. Yeah, she's really out sucks. It, of course it has lots of potential, but the show itself is just nothing but fucking sheep puns. Who wants to watch that? It's like, this is she-tastic. She-rific. It's like, wow, this is fucking gay. Sorry. And it's voiced by the dude from fucking Hannah Montana. Get real. You sound like you're being transphobic right now, Corey. I am being transphobic. Incredibly transphobic. Well, at least you're honest. I mean, the show's already something. Oh yeah, Secret Mountain Fort Awesome. Yeah, that show that is didn't fucking. Miss. I didn't even know that aired. They uh, they premiered like one episode of it. I never saw them air anything else, but apparently they got to have a run. Oops. A few pictures of She's Out, but I've never actually finished them. I think She's Out is also just a really ugly show to look at. It is really ugly. The art style's kind of hard to get by. Hmm. Oh fuck! Oh, 
job, man. The Weekenders? No, The Weekenders. I remember watching The Weekenders. That was a show that lasted. Oh, they fall down. Oh yeah, almost naked animal babies. But even that show had some sort of like punch. It, like, it, wasn't it barely naked animals or something? It, it barely made animals. it, but it still like made it. They they took that from Canada because that was the period where they're like, oh, Johnny Test is uh, doing well and it costs us nothing. Let's just take more from Canada. I don't think any of those shows lasted. What was the other one? Garage Band, uh, Sidekick. They kept trying to take shows from Canada because they were cheap, and none of them did well. Sidekick. There was also that one show. Do you guys remember that? Like the Super Best Friends of Super Force or something? Who is texting? Me. Do you remember that with like Batwoman? Uh, oh Superwoman? no, that was that was during the what was it, the DC block they had. They were doing little shorts in between, and that was part of it. I thought they were gonna make a show out of it. I thought they were too, and it didn't seem like it would have been a bad idea. But now they have a. They have a DC girl show, and it's just, it's about them shopping at the mall, so, uh, it's quite a leap. Modifiers? Dude, mo uh, did Modifiers even air? No. No, that was just a pilot yeah. that I posted online. Yeah, it was just a pilot. It didn't even air. Almost Naked Animals was fucking horrible. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, anyone who defends it. I don't bad. think anyone would defend it. Fucking minefield! Oh! Fried Dynamite? Was that a show? I remember that was like wasn't a that, segment wasn't where. Wasn't that their live like, action thing where they were trying to. doing all of that? Maybe I think. I, you're gonna have to jog, man. Man, I haven't I, fucking I watched like Cartoon Network garbage in the last yeah, few years. I, I mean, I haven't had a TV in probably like three or four years. I remember Fried Dynamite came on in between cartoons and it was awful. I remember uh, when Cartoon Cartoon Fridays just became Fridays, and they had a they had a black lady who was hosting called Zynga, and after a month they replaced her with a, a white lady called Tara. Because I I, mean, I I wonder if that was because of testing or something with audiences, and all the children were saying mm -hmm. she's scary, so they bumped her off. Fanboy and Chum Chum was just stupid. It wasn't really good at all. I remember that's all Nickelodeon was airing for a while. It was uh, Fanboy and Chum Chum, nothing else. Yeah. It was Spongebob and that. And that's not even an exaggeration. That was their entire schedule for the day. It was just those two shows and nothing else. Out of Jimmy's Head aired for like... From September to fucking February 29th? How... Wait, how many years did it last? Because that show was... Horrible. That was one of the worst they probably ever aired. It it wasn't that long. It was like six months, I guess. Okay. Right. That's good. From September to February. Because that was the the movie that they hyped up, Reanimator or whatever, which was horrible. But a lot of people watched it, so I guess they thought like, oh, this is a good idea to make it into a show then, because so many people watched it. It's like how Kappa Capcom... Mikey. I actually watched fucking Kappa Mikey. Oh god. We. Watched I didn't like Kappa. it, we but watched I Kappa watched Mikey it because the. Not days the dude, uh, I forget his name. I think it's like Bonus Stage. He said he was working on a show called Kappa Mikey, and I watched Bonus Stage at the time. He did. And I looked it up, and I was like, Jesus, dude. It was so fucking, like, lazy with, like, the... Trying to make it look like anime, but it was clearly done by a studio that doesn't know how to draw anime. I don't get that either, because, yeah, they were trying to make it look like it's a uh, Western cartoon mixed with anime. But he didn't look like he was from, like the USA. He looked like he was just from Canada specifically. And then the anime yeah, didn't characters didn't look like anime. They just looked like gross people. No, what really doesn't make sense is he was actually a really fucking good animator, and they just made him animate Mikey, who was this boring, clean character. He, uh, only, really he only ever worked on bad shows, too. He worked on the really bad yeah. Racer thing. What the fuck, dude? Dude, Nick is desperate. You could get a show on Nickelodeon easily. 
It's true. They haven't had they a good show since yeah, they've opened a fucking up a lot more. long time. I think they realized. At least Cartoon Network has out. hit like a lot of good notes with a lot of shows. Even if you don't like the lineup, they still have hit well with audience. A lot of shows. I think they're having Nickelodeon a reversal. Fell in the face. I, I think um, Cartoon Network is starting to fall apart now with their lineup. Nickelodeon is well, they're, they're, up. Dude, they're like, they're like showing off. It's like, yeah, check out these cartoons. And they have like four. Total. Well, Cartoon Network is also just relying on reboots and remakes of everything now. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Ones that don't follow anything that the original had going for them, so they're experimenting in ways that nobody cares about. Although Nickelodeon, I'm not sure what... Because I don't have TV. I know The Loud House, everybody is saying, is alright. Hellbenders will not be on Nickelodeon. Possibly any of that shit. It's not a kid's show, anyways. And a smack right into a wall. Gumball's ending, is it not? Is it actually ending? Yeah, Gumball, regular show. Are you just saying this, or do you know this? No, regular this is show true. This wouldn't is true. surprise me. Gumball kind no, of... No, actu it's actually ending. That means they don't have anything left that's interesting visually, then. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's why. It might not even be a rating thing, because I know kids like Gumball. It could just be because it's more expensive than what they have on for I'm getting really annoyed by this track because everything bumps you into the walls. I forgot how much I do this Gumball is an ending? I thought it was. Really, that's the hardest part about this uh, first step zero. Getting bumped around by everything fucking sucks. Because the new ones, you're spaced out a lot more and it's hard to actually ever make contact with anyone. Plus you can kill other people. You can ram them. Draw Gumball's mom. Dude, everybody's drawn fucking Gumball's mom. Okay. I don't want to draw Gumball's mom. That's like fucking everything. Like if you if you want Gumball's mom, just look up Sunny B. He has about sixty million pictures of her and her ass, and you'll you'll be set for life. I could never do Gumball's mom's justice as much as Sunny has done. Yeah, see, the next season, I told you it was ending. Is it actually ending? I'm getting mixed messages. People in the chat are saying it is ending. The creator said it was ending. Um, but they're still going to do another season. But it's still ending. So this is the last season. What do you, uh, what do you think of bomb blocks where... Instead of just airing new episodes like every Friday, you have to wait four months for one week of episodes and then they never do anything again. Gumball doesn't have any hot characters? That's pretty fucking arguable. What did you say? It's too late, Corey. It's too late to apologize. I guess I'm doing better this time just because I got out in front. That's all I needed. Getting smacked by all the cars really is the worst part of this track. If you can get past them, you're fine. The wind isn't that hard to fight because you can tilt your car left and right. So you just have to hold away from there. Also, crashing in the walls does give you a speed boost sometimes. It's a. Uh, it's a thing you can take advantage of to do better on some tracks. I'm not really doing it here though. It's just an accident. Running 
Nah, dude, yeah, Bravest yeah. Warriors is done. You're not getting another. Why would well, they make not, Bravest yeah, Warriors when they get more views off 107 packs? Yeah, you're, you're getting 107 packs about cartoons. You're not gonna get anything else. So, I hope you enjoyed it, but that's all you're getting. Oh my god. No! No! Oh! I'm doing really bad now. Every time I hear that noise, I feel like it's the start of the moon level from fucking Duck Yeah, that's what I thought too when I heard it. Because it sounds just like it. No, that's a. It gives you a one up if you're doing one. Not that you need it. Also, that siren makes me think I'm damaged, but I'm not. It's just because I'm not in first place. I missed that. Thank you for donating, someone. That was a really bad race. Yeah, if anyone's ever expecting Frederator to do animation again, I'm sorry, you're not gonna get that out of their YouTube channel. They've stopped caring, they're just gonna do clickbait videos and stick to that because it makes money. Yeah, Bravest, Bravest Warriors is dead. Tell your friends. Who gives a heck? What, uh, did you see Leafy post a video saying he's quitting YouTube? And uh, it's his final YouTube rant, and then a day later he kept posting videos anyways because, oops, uh, if you actually click the videos and watch them, it's just clickbait, he's not doing anything because Leafy wants money. Yeah, but Leafy is a dumb faggot. Does he still fucking get traction? Absolutely. His uh, I'm leaving YouTube video got like 14 million views because he lied to people that he was leaving. Also, I got bumped off the track. I don't understand what retards see in him. He, his content is dribble. He's not it, funny, yeah, he's not it's, interesting, he's not entertaining. It's literally the, like, it's not funny remotely. I don't know what it is. I guess he's just like a new Ray William Johnson. He's not somebody who anybody should care about. He's just someone who's obnoxious to listen to. No, he's just some, like, boring little shit who got right. popular off of fucking making fun of kids who lip sync songs. It's a lot, mm. Ethan. You could have just not said anything. You could have, he maybe yeah. could have <laughs> faded into the bag. Yeah, he could have became fucking irrelevant, and then we would have been on with our lives, and instead of having to see him on the side banner with all his fucking obnoxious videos. His stupid videos always come up as related now to everything. I hate it. Yeah, insecure 12 year old bullies watch his fucking videos. People who go to school and pick on children in fucking grade school watch Leafy. For inspiration. The guy who did the, the guy, the little kid from the video, where he's making fun of the fat kid, and then he gets slammed on the ground. He watches Luffy. I can't. That sucks that that video would, when it came out on YouTube, when the fat kid body slammed the little skinny kid who was picking on him. That video is great. <laughs> I love that video. And YouTube was trying their hardest to get it taken down when it first got posted. Like, if you ever re-uploaded it, you immediately got suspended permanently for it. Why was that? I don't know, that video's great. Fucking kid choked... The little skinny kid was the bully and the little yeah, big... Yeah, he was. Big... And he was getting what he deserved. And then he... Remember he posted... The, he got interviewed and he was saying, like, I'm actually the victim, I didn't do anything, I didn't deserve it. And then the kid made a video where he's like, this is everything he did to me. He had proof. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna get a game over, because I'm gonna get bumped for one time, and it's gonna kill me. Dude, quit hitting the fucking Sonic bumpers on the side. That's because I'm getting gone. bumped. You oh, fuck model. you! Oh god, that was close. He almost got me. <laughs> Cringiest final YouTube rant. Oh my god, watch to the end. Leafy would never say these videos are cringy. <laughs> You're all cringy, not me. Well, I'm gonna die again. Dude, I said this before. When Megas XLR came on, I remember nobody said a fucking word about that show. Nobody said anything, but the second it got taken off, 
everybody was talking about I it. I watched it every time it came on when it was first airing. I loved that show when it was going. Yeah, but nobody but I no, knew ever nobody, fucking watched yes, it. Nobody I knew watched it. It was only after it got and taken off. And that's why that it did horrible. Outraged. Yeah. Well, same one for I Symbionic it, Titan. No Symbionic it. Titan, nobody was watching it when it was airing. I fucking loved it, and that was actually giving me faith in, like, animation again. So sad that then, we got the plug pulled on it. Also, I'm switching weird. games to the next one. I gotta update Earth the Earthworm Jim. That's what I was gonna do, yeah. Yes. I, so, ha I bet, I guarantee the farthest you're gonna get is probably to the fucking booger jumper. Because I never could I'm, get past that part. The, I would always have, like, the one second line. One. I got the second one downloaded. I've never played the second one. I like the second one. I can it. I can finish both of them. The first one is a lot harder than the second one though, because it's actually like more of a platformer. The second one's kind of a variety game. The only hard part about the second one though is there's a overhead stage that I fucking hate and is not fun in any way at all. And there's a the first game had Andy asteroids between levels, which is actually fun and not really that frustrating yeah. to do. The second one has a mini game called Puppy Love, and it's like the Game & Watch game Fire, and I fucking hate it, because by the end of the game, you just can't keep up with it. You can do it, obviously, it's possible, yeah. it just gets really frustrating, and you don't want to play it anymore. I'm not I'm not shitting on uh, Mega's XLR, because I mean, I liked it, but no one else I knew. I was like, you, have you guys seen this show? And they're like, no, and then before you knew it, it was gone. I was just like, oh, okay. Well, that why, was it. Why do you shit on everything? You don't like all the anything. Hang on, I'm gonna go pee. Megas pee. was a cool idea. It was pee. like uh, some slacker controlling a giant robot. Princess, what's her name? Queen, what's her name? I mean, whatever it is. Safe to say every YouTuber is a pedophile? Um, I don't think so. Well, where did that come from? What's the joke? Ooh, Mr. Ooh, Domo, what's the joke? Okay, what happened? Nothing. What happened? Someone said every YouTuber is a pedophile, and I'm like, why? And he said it's a joke, and I'm, I don't know how it's a joke. Uh, Minecraft Let's Players, maybe? Hmm. Who's uh who's your favorite Minecraft Let's player? Corey? Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. I was like, hey guys, it's me, Lion Gamer. I don't know who like that, that is, Corey. Right they all sound like that. Someone dude. Easy. All right. So this is uh, Earthworm Jim Two. It's a good game. Is it? Yeah, I like it. It I'm looks fucking uh, great. But is it epic? You decide. How do you? Lion do? Maker. Lion Maker. It's not the irate gamer. Well, what so. the heck? Where'd you get the pizza? I didn't know you got a pizza. Yeah. The irate gamer is like, hey gamers, he's not like, 
Hit it, guys! Nobody does that. Oh, there it is. There's the Manta Shield. It's, uh, it's Jim's new ability in this game that nobody is aware of. Cory, did you know about the Manta Shield? Fuck. These are really hard to do. By the way, Earthworm Jim's rights are up for sale now. Oops. So EA, get on that. I mean, it is gonna be EA. Everybody who's talking about it too is really confused about it because they're acting like, oh, you can buy off their individual properties. No, you're, it's an auction for all of it. So yeah, it's gonna be like EA purchasing it. What does the money go to? Interplay not going under, I guess. But if they're selling all their properties, then what do they have to work with? Uh, nothing, meaning they're probably just going to shut the company on, uh, down so he can retire in a big swimming pool of money and be happy. Because that guy, that guy must be thrilled that he just happens to have all these licenses and now he can make a fortune off of them and never have to do anything with Yeah, all these licenses he's been sitting on? Yeah. There we go. I got it. Groovy! I'm gonna have to get used to the controls though. Uh, Is he saying Mandark? He's saying Manta. Because he, he has a shield you can use in this. Although you can only do it in uh, this version, the Genesis one. You can't do it in the Sega Saturn one. And I, I guess it's because the people who reported it weren't aware of the fact that it's in the game. Because nobody ever uses yeah. it. Most Interpl people don't. In, uh, Interplay doesn't really do anything. No, they don't. They play. haven't done anything for years. Their games don't sell. They don't make any money. They just they're sitting on a bunch of IPs to stay relevant. And now they've lost their fucking their only haggle. It was uh the guy who ran the company Titus. Titus, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but he he's the guy that bought Interplay in like 2000 or something because they were doing poorly. Yeah, Titus is the 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 guys behind the Superman game. Yeah, Superman Everyone's 64. favorite. And after he took over, they just did nothing. He sat on everything. He was leeching royalties on the good old game. Is that there was a post about that recently? Like the creators of the uh, Descent. It's why if you... People scanned images of the whole thing where they're auctioning the properties off. The guys who uh, actually have the rights to descend, they, uh... Because they have the rights to the actual games and everything. They don't have the, the name itself, which is what they're selling. But, uh... They, they own the rights to the game, so they're supposed to get royalties from it, but Interplay was just leeching the royalties the entire time it was on good old game. Oh yeah, fucking of course they were. Interplay... Interplay just fucking snakes. Ah, oh, I missed I mean, the last one. I, I mean, you know, a little... kind of obvious, but... Dude, Challenge Showdown? I'm sorry, but I don't understand where the excitement behind yeah, that show came I from. Never I that. never liked Challenge Showdown. Like, sure, there's tons of potential. Like, the, the villainess is great, and the little Rude. Chinese fucking chick is, is good too, but the show is just obnoxious. I just found it annoying. Like, Chucky Finster voiced the fucking main guy. Or, or not? No, it wasn't Chucky. It was uh, Chucky. Dexter. Who was it? Who voiced the main guy? What do you mean the main guy? Well, the the little mini monk guy, little Krillin, and challenge out of him. It's Timmy Turner. Bungie. Okay, it was Timmy Turner. Because she voices everybody ever. And I. But that's that was kind of weird that she voiced him because I thought that voice was very unfitting. 
I never like that voice being used in general. I think Timmy Turner is like the one time it sort of worked. I hate like Ben 10 for example, I hate that voice. Because it's already really obnoxious lines that they're delivering saying like, Oh my kid, my, my sister is a creepazoid! But then you also have that voice delivering and it's able to be more... Uh, mm -hmm. Whoops. Would be more uh, annoyed by it. What do you mean, scrumptious casserole? What are you, what are you talking about? What about me and porn potential? It means even if a show sucks, it still has some redeeming factors. So it's like an extra bonus points for the show. Is that it has potential in porn. So that's what it means. <laughs> Why'd you buy a pizza anyways? Nah. Oh. It's a cheap one. Okay. Oh, it was only eight bucks? Really? Wow. That's a that's a bargain. The only chick I liked that voiced like a little kid was when they're like like fucking like trunks. And like Kid Goku, when they're like almost like deepish, like like scruffy sounding, I like that. Nah. No one's playing Wild Woody ever again. Well, yeah. I, I played through Wild Woody. I streamed the entire. There will game. never be I'm another never Wild Woody. It. I'm never playing Wild Woody again. I hope they don't have it at the office just to make sure we don't have to play it. How'd you beat that boss? Ruby. What? You beat the boss. It, yeah, it, it's a it's a gag, Corey. You don't actually fight him. I know it's a gag, but people why also do you don't eat him? like. You're a worm. Because worms eat fish, Corey. <laughs> Is people, that a gag too? People really hate this stage. I never actually had much of a problem with it. What is it? You have to shoot dirt to a. Uh, Climb up and run a timer. Probably because they didn't know what to do. This game absolutely is not like perfect or anything. Controls are pretty Rosie. awkward at times, but I still like it a lot. The Pebbles and Bam Bam show? <sighs> Ew, dude! Get that ocean sign. What do you got against a uh, pebble? How? I think we talked about this before. How how hard is it to kill Bam Bam? Because he is just a small child. He's is, a god. Well, is he durable, or is he just really strong? Like he could kill you, but you could smash his skull open really easily. I agree with uh, Blood Duck. You should play, um, I'm not Wild Woody. Booger Man. I'm not playing Booger Man, Corey. Play Booger Man. Well, I didn't. I, it's just a suggestion. Wow. Think about it. I'd rather play Wild the Woody. I'd rather play Wild Woody than Booger Man. You already played fucking Wild Woody. I know. I hated it. Play Booger Man. I'm not playing Booger Man. <laughs> Either play Wild Woody or fucking Booger Man on hard. Does Booger Man have difficulty settings? Yeah, it's like extra mucus. It's extra difficult. Oh. Yeah, I'm just extra I'm playing mucus this one game. Extra oh, oh, hey, it's oh. me, your friendly neighborhood Booger Man. He doesn't say that, Corey. Yeah, he does. He's, he's, it's me, Booger Man! <laughs> That's true, you can't play Earth Man with me. He doesn't say that. Why is he called Booger Man if he just shits himself? Like, that's all he's known for, really. He, he, he burps. He farts. And he burps. He doesn't he do anything else. He poops. He doesn't puke. I don't think he pukes. I hope he doesn't puke. Poops. Peeps and poops. Oh, he peeps. I don't think he peeps, Corey. 
Oh it my does. god. Imagine if you were, uh, it's a, it's a dark, dingy evening and you're masturbating in front of your computer and outside the window is Booger Man sitting in a tree watching you. Is he peeping and pooping? Yeah, he's peeping and pooping. He, he <laughs> belches really loud and goes, excuse me! What do you do? I close the bag. <laughs> Thank you for donating, whoever that was. I didn't I get to see the it. the sultry sounds of his, his burps and parts to get on. Fine, eat the rest of it. I can wait for Hamburger Helper. Okay. What's worse, Booger Man or Wild Woody? <laughs> They're both... I would, I'd would. i rather play spell. Wild Woody because Wild Woody has decent music at least. Ruby. Ruby. Boring. Oh, am I lost? I think I am. I'm actually lost. Oops. I guess I gotta go back. I'm supposed to go this way. Whoever said Hamburger Helper is disgusting, you're disgusting. How is Hamburger Helper disgusting? It's good. You're a freak. You're a freak. You would masturbate in front of Booger Man. What's that? I was defending. I was saying the person who said Hamburger Helper is gross is a freak. I know. I'm saying though, you got no room to judge. I wouldn't masturbate in front of them. I closed the blind so I didn't have to fucking hear him. You're gonna hear him anyway. Yeah, 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 you're gonna hear I'll, him. He's I'll gonna call be, the authorities. He's gonna be I'll burping and shitting himself the whole time, Corey. You're still gonna hear him. I'm, al I'm already dialing 911. And what, what if the police show up and they're all booger men? I wake up from this weird fever dream. <laughs> it's not a dream, Corey. This is reality. It's like a dream. It sounds like a dream to you. No, it's not a dream. All the police. All the king's horses and all the king's men are booger man. All the police on him. Uh, Throw him in jail. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo knows me. <laughs> Did you ever call the Nintendo hotline when you were younger? No. Never? Because it costs money and I don't want to get Yeah, it did. And they would trick you. They'd try to keep you on the line. How long did you stay on? He didn't Did call. you ever want to fuck Thumbelina? No. No, I didn't. Did you, Corey? Is that, is that where we're Do going I make with this? Corn of the Hamburger Helper Glove? Whoa. I already did. Thank you, Blood Doug, for $10. Thank you, Doug Blood. Thank you, Doug Funny. The thing that no one ever said. Yeah, why did the ants have babies? This is so wacky and weird. I figure people are gonna be like that with it being like XD random. Like I, f I what the I heck? This is so random and XD. Yeah, dude. I'm sure that's what people are gonna say about this game now. I think it's like a good a good middle ground though. I don't think it's to the point where it's like it's offensive, random, goofy humor. No, Earthworm Jim has always been like off because of humor though, that's like it's thing. So I'm not offended by it. I'm really not freaking offended by it. Like frick, dude. I got the timer. Ru Ru Ruby! Ruby! <laughs> you gotta use the chalk. Ruby! <laughs> Rudy! That's Oscar proud. He says, Rudy! 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 Rudy, use the chalk! <laughs> I gotta get the chip, buddy. So 
this game's pretty good. I like it. Can I do the parachute? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna shoot enough of it off. Fuck. Whoa. Fuck! I keep hitting my head. Why? I don't know. Maybe you should stop. Maybe you should stop. Uh, yeah, I can't grab it from here. What game do you think is a bit too silly? A bit too silly. What does that mean? It's just a silly game. I mean, Earthworm Jim is a silly game, but I don't know what's too silly. Uh, Mario. Because what the heck, why he eat mushrooms? <laughs> why? <laughs> why do you say it like that? You say it like a retard. Because it's a joke a retard to make. Did I ever tell you that, that we had to write like short stories in grade school and I wrote one about Mario and I said... I, I wrote like a line that said, he had he got sick because he had one too many mushrooms and I thought I was making a drug reference. I didn't understand why I got in trouble. Because Mario, Mario eats mushrooms. Oh, you thought he got a stomach ache from eating too much mushrooms? Yeah, that's what I was writing and they thought it was like, Are you writing that he's on mushrooms? And you're like, yeah, he eats mushrooms. Yeah. I'm still confused as to why I'm in trouble. That's what Mario does. Yeah, that's it. Mario does this. I remember I wrote a creepypasta, one of the first creepypastas in grade school about how, uh, Brendan Stimpy on the Game Gear had a, a secret evil code that blows your Game Gear up. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> I, was like, I was like five or six and I wrote <laughs> I wrote a story about that. This is why the internet shouldn't exist, because things like that get to be posted online and you get to make a fool of yourself. Then Drown freaking terrified me. I was like, what the heck, a haunted console game? Uh, I don't. I don't really know any other real like creepy pastas that remotely like the Pokemon Black one, which everyone's like, oh, it's so creepy. It's like uh, you're some Jim creepy. Yeah, that was the only sound I could hear. It was the dark? Ah. Was, no, that's Bart. Whoa! Whoa! That's Bart. There's him dying. No. <laughs> I like that one. Whoa! Whoa! It's him falling down a hole. Homer takes him to the Springfield Gorge and throws him off. That scream is fucking blood curdling. I love it. I like it. It's uh, that's Doug to Naples' voice. That's funny. Yeah, Doug Funny's actual voice. That's Doug yeah. Funny dying. Whoa! Hey, it's coming. Whoa! Whoa! Didn't we try to play the Doug Game Boy game once? We played it, but Zach was invested in talking about, uh... What was it? I don't even remember. The game remember. was stupid. <laughs> we had it going in the back, but everyone was talking about more interesting things. Here it is, Puppy Love. My least favorite. Hey everybody, let's go get us some Italiano. Eat the pizza, eat the pizza. Machiavelli. Broccarelli, eat my broccoli. Ah, uh, broccolini. <laughs> broccolini, it's so cheesy. What's wrong with you? Hey, let's eat all the pop. Hey, let's watch a let's play. Not it. Why is that jerk throwing puppies? He's just 
bounce him in the fucking... What is right? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm gone! <I'm wrong. laughs> what happened? Nothing. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely <laughs> fine. Focus, focus on your puppies. I'm focusing on the puppies. He went kablooey. You don't think you could ever replicate Zach's scream? Zach screams like an old lady. Sweet potato pie. <laughs> I wanna eat, 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 eat meat until I die. Yeah, because that's when Donald Duck goes crazy and tries to murder him. Of course you do. You're a sicko. Whoops, the puppy went squish. Do you think the joke is supposed to be that they're full of No. I think they just picked a random color to make it inoffensive. Uh, they're made of eggs. It's egg yolk coming out. I am surprised they're allowed to get away with that, but they're squishing when they, uh, they die. They just burst into a bunch of yellow goop. Land right on their soft spot. The what soft, is this shit? I, this marshmallow. I hate the soft spot, like the the idea behind the soft spot, like how it looks. Soft on spot. Ba on soft baby spot is skulls. funny. It's a funny. It's I a hate funny it. It's disgusting. Thing. I hate how it looks. You have a fucking. You go ahead, soft Corey. Spot. I don't have one anymore, Corey. It's nice soft spot. In. But you had one at one point. It's true. There was a spot on your head. That was really yeah, I had a little cross on my head. Oh. Oh. I don't want to save this puppy. I'm freaking tired. Oh, he's not gonna wait there. I'm getting tired thinking of all this Italian food. I don't care if it's late. How many rounds is this? <laughs> this is why I fucking hate this stage. Andy Asteroids is at least brief. And then they start getting really obnoxious because they expect you to dive forward. Way cool. You go ahead, fuck me up, you stupid dog. Oh, oh, ooh, poor Jim. He doesn't want to be in this level anymore. This is the only problem with this game is puppy love. Puppy love. Whoops, whoops. This guy. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna attack me? <laughs> Throw the fucking bomb! <laughs> That's why nobody liked Earthworm Jim too. This is the only bad part of it. I like everything else about this game for the most part. If that's not true, there's one other level I hate. <laughs> Everyone's favorite thing was whenever the dog became mean. Thank God. How come the dog disintegrates whenever it hits the ground? Fuck puppy love. I like this stage. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. Dude, that took way too long. I know, it goes forever. I hate it. And you didn't even fail, right? No. Like it just yeah, it's just a really it. long stage. I uh, I wish the camera was better here. I remember the other versions of this game, you can actually see where you're going. I guess not the Super Nintendo. We're too good for that. Uh, whoa. Oh, is that, oh, is it, uh, Jim is Blind Cape Salamander? Yep. What is he? Blind Cave Salamander. 
<laughs> the art in this game is fucking beautiful. They make the little old lady noises when you shoot them. Did the stream end? Did it? People are saying, dude, I gotta go lay down. I'll it's talk to you later. Are you really that tired? Yeah, I just, oh. I, I ate a bunch. Like, I had a bunch of, like, Chinese food and it's fucking hitting me. I'm sorry, Cory. Hi, Cory. Uh, I mean, I'm only gonna lay down. Like, just, like, relax for, like, an Farewell, hour. Farewell, Cory. You're dead. You guys are still streaming. I'll be back. See you later. See ya. See ya. See ya. That's a good noise for him to depart on. Yeah. Quack. Let's talk about politics. Okay. Uh, Hillary Clinton is a quack. Haha. <laughs> they tied it, tied it, it all quack. together. With this music, I can see what Corey wants to do. Take uh, it. that could be, uh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Jim! Oh, Jim! Wait, no death animation? Really? This port stinks. How did anyone glow, uh, glow up? How did anybody glow? How, how do you glow in the dark? People in the chat. How? I used to. How, I, used to I, knew, uh, I knew a deaf guy who would say glow up. He'd say, oh, no. Oh. Well, he'd, he'd type glow up. He didn't. I think it probably would have sounded a lot different if he said that. <laughs> I, uh, I should have just played the Genesis version. I guess it really is the better one. It is. It's why people think of uh, the Genesis ones when they think of these games. They sound better and uh, usually play better. Nice voice echoes. Yeah, it's like he's in the same room or something. What's uh what's the difference between the hard path and the easy path? The hard path is harder but gets you get more visible earthworms from it. This part's actually harder to control on oh. the Super Nintendo too. It's weird. God, I hate that these speed up when you get close to them. It tries to make you scared. <laughs> I thought we would play the Saturn port. I should have just downloaded the Saturn port. When can we play A Link to the Past? Uh, get Aaron. We didn't get him for Mega Man X. Way cool! It's weird hearing your keyboard noises. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, I don't. I don't mind it. It's just unusual because it's like I'm hearing, I'm hearing two sides of the room. This level is so relaxing. I can't stop thinking of Italian. Can't stop thinking about pancakes until they reach the sky. Sweet potato pie. I want to eat meat, 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 even though I'm talking about sweet potatoes. Tender. Chicken tender. Oh, I want fucking chicken tenders. Should've had some pizza. Those aren't chicken tenders! Should've had some pizza. Should've had some pizza with the chicken tenders. Hey, hey everybody, welcome to Milo to the stream. <laughs> they don't know what Simon and Milo is, that's not gonna work. They should. should. No, they really shouldn't. I don't think anybody <laughs> should know what Simon and Milo is. Simon and Milo is a blessing unto this world. Yeah, they're hot show. That's why they have. That's why that's their uh, their logo. It has a globe on it. Because there's the whole world. 
They're the world's super sweet cereal. That's their stand. What what if that's uh, the big reveal? Is that Milo is actually Simon's stand? That would suck. Yeah, it would. He can't even do anything. That's not true. He can uh, hit people with a guitar. He can't open his eyes though. Are we really talking about this? No one's gonna understand any of this. Here, that research it. Look up Simon and Milo. Come back to the stream. Tell us your favorite song. WW dot never get over you. Uh, you choose what it ends in. dot com dot org. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah, it's educating you. Put all these pencils in here. Who put pencils in their butt? He didn't say tendies, he says tender. Who said tendies? They think he said tendies. Me? Me? No, Jim. Jim who? Oh, Jim! Yeah, Jim Sterling, you got it. He broke into the room and said tendies. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> what would you do if Jim Sterling was my roommate? Uh, I would never come to your place. <laughs> he uh, he would sleep behind a podium. He really wants to talk to you about micro. He wants to talk about everything. And never stop talking. Whoopee! Whoopee! Time for the game show. This apartment is roomy. Time for the game show, everybody. I don't remember where Y, B, or A are, so this is gonna be hard. What color is Jim's red gun? Blue, green, or yellow? Green. I got it. Tendies is a 4chan meme. It, it's also just, you know, a thing people said. Uh. I didn't know 4chan, 4chan still has. Wow. Wow. In what year did the Battle of Hamstrings take place? I got it. Can Jim speak Spanish? See, si, no. Uh, no. No, oh, that's wrong. I'm not doing good on this. I used to actually know all of these at one point. Although, not knowing the Super Nintendo controller layout doesn't help. Oh, it's Chip Buddy. Simon and Milo get clue. There you go. Somebody, somebody gets it. No, 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 not get it. <laughs> that's after yeah, that, that's after Prozac. They, they, uh, they sold out, man. I'm not doing well. When is Jim's birthday? The day he was born. Oh. Oh, that was a bad run. Here's the even worse mini game. What do you think? Would've what do you think would have happened if Disney did make them catch on? Uh, everybody would be aware of them. It was a, it was better animated than the Canadian videos. anymore. This bonus stage sucks, I hate it. And, and, I don't want it anymore. Mm. 
and you're gonna get to level eight. I hate level eight. But you can do the secret. Yeah, one time. Okay, some people in the chat recognize Simon Milo. That's concerning, but okay. What did they say their favorite song uh, Someone said, I got a strange disease. What's your favorite one? Your favorite one? Yeah. Also, I stopped paying attention. Uh, no. Is this wrong? Yes. Ruby, tender. What's your favorite one? See, it says tender. Yep. What is my favorite? I don't know. What's your favorite one? Uh. Probably WWW. Is that the whole title of the song? Yes. Yes. That unfortunately that's never get over you is probably. It's probably. I also like uh, Amabola Saray. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Like that. Cheerios. Yeah, things were getting serious. Oh, here it is, the worst stage in the game. I hate this stage. How do I turn around? Okay. Whoever came up with the stage is a fucking idiot. It was Doug himself. Doug? Funny? Uh, oh, Doug to Naple. I'm a retard. I don't think he would come up with this one. Wow! 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 Alright, I forgot these guys up here. I forget, is the office stage in, in Tool? Two. Oh, great. It's sending me all the way back. Uh, why are the Super Nintendo controls for this game different? <laughs> Get out of here. This stage blows. I didn't even notice them on me. There we go. So that's the that's the secret to the stage if you want to boost it out ahead. Otherwise, you get to be miserable sitting through it. Nope, I missed it. I want to get rid of this guy. Why did gross out humor like fall out of favor? Uh, because it wasn't really funny. It was just gross. The kids thought of it. So, like, when did kids start changing their mind? Uh, when Steven Universe started airing. No, I don't know when. When did it stop? I I, I remember it not being a thing. No, yeah, it was. It was like middle. Very. It was an '80s to. I guess yeah. I was yeah. I was about to say there's there was a couple of examples in like the late '80s. But yeah, it it did start falling out. I don't know what made it start just uh, becoming cool. irrelevant. Cool. But not only did it fall out. Like back then, but at this point now, everybody wants really, really clean in general. Clean minimalism—that's what everybody wants. 
god, this stage fucking sucks. Never fear, everybody. These also push the balloon back. Just in case you needed something to make it less enjoyable. Oh, is it the fucking limp? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, where you have to push it to the end. That's your on level. No. This is the same music, isn't it? As what? As the bit? No. Actually, yes it is. Never mind, you're right. I forgot. Cause he yells SALT! Oh my fucking god, leave it alone! What an awful idea for a level. You fucker! Oh my god. Leave it alone! I'm gonna actually die. Because this balloon is stuck. There. Jesus. Horrible. Okay, I made it. Job. Have you eaten a Chip Buddy in honor of Earthworm Jim? I'd like to. Chip Buddies are actually pretty good. Uh. So are you going to beat the whole game? Uh, maybe. I think I've only died one time so far, but this is going to seal the deal. Because it's the only hard part of the game. This really is, like, the only hard part. Whoops. I guess level 8 is also a little bit annoying. No, it's not for fuck's sake, it's for Pete's sake. That's not in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even see that. The bomb the bomb got thrown off screen because it's the Super Nintendo version. This really is like the worst one. You can't see anything. I guess this stage looks really cool on the Super Nintendo at least, but I mean it doesn't mean anything. Is it the one where the background is like volcanoes and shit? Or where That's on the Saturn. The Saturn it's volcanoes. The Super Nintendo it's a fake 3D perspective. It actually looks really nice. He threw one off screen. Whoops. No big deal. You don't need to see these puppies. Wait, wait, wait. That's those puppies. Is this? Did you ever watch the 101 Dalmatian show? I played the game where she puts them in the pinball machine. Yes, I do remember the cartoon. And there was a chicken for whatever reason. There, I never saw. I just thought it was weird, so I was hoping I could get some insight on it. I don't remember anything else about it. Whoops, I dropped one. Is there a way to pan the camera? Anything? No, there isn't. There's no way to pan the camera. So this is, this is just the worst. Bravo! The worst way to play this level. You think they would at least adjust it if you can't see anything? Uh, usually different teams would handle them. Yeah, throw the bomb. Totally reach this guy.
Oops, that puppy got no love. You know, it was nice about the Sega Saturn, Saturn one. It actually give you uh, health all the time during the stage, just because they knew the stage is bullshit and not fun. I am doing bad at it though. Although, I gotta say, this was at least the Genesis. I can see what he was throwing. This is a very bad run. See, ones like this, I fucking hate because they expect you to die for them. Whoops. Whoops, the puppy fell. I don't care, I need the bomb. How much does the bomb Oh, it takes off almost everything. I think it's like 90 it does to you. So if you're already hurt, you just die for free. I do like how uh, the 3D effect looks on the building, though. At least the frame rate drops when he's throwing too many of them. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, so much for that. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, bye, Jim. Jim in the holograms. What was your favorite Jim in the holograms episode? Uh, the one where they have to catch puppies. No, the one where she, uh, the one where she thinks she's dead. You like that one the most? Well, the one, the. I, I think I, I completed them. Uh, the one, you know, the one where she thinks that it's her life, but it's not her life. Yeah. Yeah, that's easily the best one. And she has fucking nightmares. Cause she, she doesn't even know what's real anymore. Stinky password. Wow. By the way, they expect you to turn and dive. Like, they want you to use everything you have to catch these. It's, uh, whoops. Just, I don't even care. Just give me the bomb. Okay, throw the bomb. Is this the fake out one? Okay, good. The final puppy love is the worst one because he throws the bomb at the house and actually smacks off the house and bounces back. And if you're not in front of the house, if you're not in front of the house, it kills you for free and you have to do it all over again. So you have to be expecting it. Also, whoever was asking what the money's for, uh, long story short, we're all out. We got no money, so uh, it's not, not a good situation to be in. Basically, I ended up getting charged for something I wasn't supposed to, so now I need money. How do you get over there? I forget. I see that it's dripping snot. I'm guessing I have to go up here. What the heck is it? I need the one up. Yeah, Wild 9 on PlayStation 1 is actually pretty decent. They uh, they reused a song from the first Earthworm Jim for it. How the heck do you get up there? I see the, the boogies dropping. Uh, 
Oh, whatever. I give up. Jim. Well, how am I actually supposed to get the cow now? Alright, well, you have fun down there, cow. I don't know how I'm supposed to get you now that I put you there by accident. Oh, are you kidding me? That's how you're supposed to do it? That's not high enough, though. Shut up, cow! Ha <laughs> Funny cow! Cow's so funny! We made an echo. What echo? He's probably talking about the echo. Oh, yeah. That's true. Where the heck is the spot for this thing? I did it twice. Well, I'll be I'll be right back anyway. Uh, oh well. Wait, it's not giving me the cow back either. Am I just fucked on this now? Cause I put the cow over here. No, oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you, Wolf Fang, for five dollars. Oops. This is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, give me the cow. Oh. There's the the flying saucer. Okay, get in there. God, the... I did not mean to do that. Believe me, I didn't want a manta. Yeah, wh what is with the camera panning so far forward? I can't see what's back here. Thank you, George Bush, for $20. Holy cow. So now we gotta put the cow up here. That's uh, all this level is, is you picking up cows and dropping them. Also there's a cool little fake 3D effect in the back with the... the fog. Funky. By the way, we're actually close to the end of the game right now. There's, uh... Look at how many stages there are. I guess this is like the halfway point or something. This is the longest stage though, just because of how time consuming this is. So sorry. Sorry there. I mean, the best gamers is kind of over with. I don't know why people still bring it up. Like, we haven't had a video on that channel in a long, long time. Carnivore is kind of gone now. Whoa! Oh, Jim. these. Whoops. Ah! 
What's a picture? What is everyone talking about in the chat? What the hell is going on? Carnivore is not like flat out gone, but like I haven't seen him online in a really really long time. Oh, I can't even go up here yet, can I? This level's so weird with its layout. Cause they try to lead you into this like it's the next one you need to do, but then it isn't. This is the next one probably. No, never mind, it's not spitting it out, so this isn't the next one. But like everyone's just been busy with work on their own end, and we haven't had videos anymore on that channel. The only reason I started streaming was because everyone was kind of gone. And then also everybody keeps uh, misleading and saying I was the one doing editing since the start. I wasn't. There was another editor on there before. Shit. What the gosh dang heck are you supposed to get up there? Wait. You don't pry shoot. When's the California trip over? Uh, when the money runs out. Which I guess it's about to, because we have no money. Is this a... is this paranoia session now where everyone has conspiracy theories about nothing that matters? It, w it started out as what was just going to be like a little trip, but it's a... Uh, for a bit, it was going to be like, you know, we could all just stay here, essentially. But now there's no money, so, uh... It may not work out that way. Yeah, I don't know what the... how the heck I'm supposed to get over there. Is there something I'm supposed to use? Or maybe I'm being a retard and I'm supposed to drop from over here or something. No, I'm not. Bus game was your job. No, it was never anybody's job. I don't know why anyone ever refers to it that way. It didn't make any money, it was just a thing everybody was doing for fun. Oh, I'm being a retard. I don't know where anything is. Who's Brent? Who's Brent? Who's Brent? I don't know. People are being crazy. And I forget how you're supposed to do this one. Whoops, Jim! You gotta get. You gotta get. Ow. You hit me. Look at him go. Check this out. Wait. That's the manta. What do you think of the manta? He's so angry. You see, it's got little eyes on it. I think I'm being really stupid right now because I forgot where to go. Oh, thank you for donating, uh, Eddie B, $2. Thank you, Mighty B. Thank you, Mighty B. I never watched that show, ever. <laughs> yeah, why is everybody, like, doing conspiracy theory stuff now? You guys need better things to obsess about. 
like the game grumps. Now see that that really matters. That's the that's the one you gotta worry about. I don't know, why are people making conspiracy theories about the mighty bee? Get over there, Jim. Get over there, Jim. Go this way, Jim. Gee, wouldn't it be great if you could just pick this cow up right now? But no, that's the one you're not supposed to get yet. I'm supposed to get this cow. How do you get up to this cow? I don't remember. I thought you grabbed this, but it doesn't let you grab it. What the fuck? Okay, you are supposed to grab it. It's just that Jim kept going through it every time I tried. Oh my god. Oh, Jim. Well, that was what I was talking about when I said this game is kind of finicky with its controls. Occupation. I've been working on a game. No, you haven't. Don't lie to people. Oh, okay, the cow's gone. Although the game I've been working on isn't actually paying, so... It's a... That's a personal project. And it's part of why I, uh, hope I don't have to stream another day because there is no time left on that to work on it. And, uh, now we have no money. This is not a good spot to be in with it. Uh, we don't even have half. To be fair though, nobody has to donate. And I don't expect it because it's a stupid video game stream. But look at these wacky cows! What are they staring at? You. Oh no! That's why they're all frightened. Oh no! <laughs> what are you gonna play when you're done? Uh, I don't know. I also don't know Cory's coming back. He's probably not. Shit. Shit. I'm sure he has his own stuff to do. Shit. ETA for game, uh, next month, which is why the- Wait, Jim, why aren't you moving? Oh, I have no ammo. I forgot- <laughs> I forgot you have ammo. What did Jim just throw in the air? A brick. Oh. Think it's gonna kill him if I just wait? <laughs> There's that little guy. Oh, he, he killed him. <laughs> oh. Ah, he got him. He got him. The game's supposed to come out next month, but uh, that's why this is a problem that I can't really be streaming. What kind of outsider if it went for Five Nights at Freddy's? That's true, that got in the way. Well, Jim is dead. Where'd the cow go? He's okay. His eyes are closed, he's dead. I hate that the screen is gray. Why? I kinda like how that looks. Cause to me it just looks like they didn't ha like they forgot to include the art or something. I like the video. Like it, I know that obviously you had to make it be some color. Cause it cuts to that, like that's obviously not what it is. I like how it looks though. I'm actually getting weird. I forgot how much I hit this level. You know, let's take a break. Stream's gonna go down for like uh, an hour here and then we'll be back. Uh, thank you everybody who donated. We'll be back in like an hour. You're very, very helpful. 
Say uh, say nice things to them. Uh, Onichan. That was no. That was pretty bad. Um, uh, I uh, fuck. Um, you fuck. I fuck. I tuck. That's what I do. I shock corn. I can fucking tuck at the same time. <laughs> That's Coach Z. Come on, say something nice to him. Um, say something. Uh, you're very pretty. Uh, 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 you're you're our little monsters. What is uh? What is what that's is, what Lady Gaga says. That's what Lady Gaga says. But what does um? PewDiePie say. He says you're my ah little monsters. <laughs> Do they? Does he have like a word for his? Yeah, he's, followers? yeah. His his. They're the bro army. You're the bro. I don't know. That, I think that's going to be an insult he to says, these people. He says, hey, brows. Okay, you're something else. You're very good. <laughs> Give us more money. What? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Listen to you. Give us more money and I'll think of more good things. Wow. Uh, nice Listen things to you. To Listen to you. Holy shit. Give sh- you more money because I'm handling rent. You just have to handle your bank thing. That's true. Wow. Listen to you. Selfish. Selfish. Cruel, selfish. Hey, everybody. Let me just tell you here today. You're all special. There you go. And you mean a lot. Even if people... God made you special and he loves you very much. Even if people keep you down, even if things seem hopeless, I want you to know. You're special. And you're going to do something great one day. Now... Leave a comment in the comment section. Have a discussion. What things do you do you uh, enjoy most about yourself? Maybe I'll even respond. I don't know. Uh, can we get you know ten thousand comment, a hundred thousand comments? Leave a like. You know, just because 